Record decompression for avascular necrosis of the femoral head with the AVN expandable Remersat. While viewing from the mid-anterior portal, place the arthroscopic drill guide through the anterolateral portal with the blunt tip contacting the femoral head in line with the AVN defect. Place the 5mm drill guide sleeve and the blunt obturator flush against the lateral cortex of the femur, approximately 30mm distal to the superior tip of the greater trochanter. Reference the intraosseous distance off the calibrated 5mm drill guide sleeve. Remove the blunt obturator and insert the 2.4mm drill sleeve. Insert the 2.4mm calibrated guide pin through the arthroscopic drill guide. Under fluoroscopic view, drill to the desired depth. Reference the drilling depth of the 2.4mm calibrated guide pin from the back of the 2.4mm drill sleeve insert. Press the release button on the drill guide handle and slide the 2.4mm and 5mm drill sleeves backwards, enough to remove the drill guide handle and marking hook. Slide the 5mm drill sleeve over top of the 2.4mm drill pin back up to bone. Advance the 5mm reamer under fluoroscopic guidance to the same depth as the previously placed 2.4mm drill pin. Mallet the drill sleeve 10 mm into the lateral cortex and ensure it maintains the same trajectory as the cannulated reamer. Remove the 5 mm cannulated reamer on power so that only the 5 mm drill sleeve is left in place. Insert the expandable reamer through the 5 mm drill sleeve and advance to the proximal end of the socket. The socket depth can be referenced off the 5 mm drill sleeve. Open the blade by twisting the knurled portion of the expandable reamer clockwise until a click is felt. Twist the expandable reamer clockwise and counterclockwise until no resistance is felt. Incrementally adjust the expandable reamer one click at a time until the desired socket diameter is achieved to remove all of the necrotic bone. If too much torque is encountered in the bone, the torque limiter will engage and not allow the blade to spin inside the socket. If this happens, reduce the diameter of the cutting blade by pushing the knurled knob forward and twist counterclockwise. Once the blade turns easily, expand the blade one or two clicks at a time and resume reaming. Once the blade is expanded enough to decompress the lesion, pull backwards while rotating the handle to create a longer socket. The socket depth can be referenced off the 5mm drill sleeve. After reaming is complete, remove the expandable reamer. To retract the cutting blade, push the knurled knob forward and twist counterclockwise. Insert the biologics delivery cannula into the prepared socket and remove the inner stylet. Flush out the defect with a combination of fluid and suction attached to the distal end. Attach a syringe filled with Arthrex DBM or autographed bone mixed with autologous fluid to the cannula. Slowly inject the material until the syringe is empty. In order to fill the void created by the expandable reamer, use the inner stylet to expel DBM mixture from the delivery cannula. Quickset cement can be used to backfill the rest of the remaining 5mm socket. To reduce the chance of overpressurization during delivery, Transfer the quickset into a mixing and delivery syringe. Slowly inject the quickset cement into the delivery cannula until the syringe is empty. The inner stylet can then be used to help deliver any additional quickset cement that remains in the drill sleeve. As the cement is being expelled, slowly retract the delivery cannula to backfill the entire length of the drilled socket.